January 25th, 1241 AM. My name is Cam. Welcome to The Print Life. Circle K, you need anything? What do you want? You want a beverage? One of our printers has been cutting back on caffeine. That's the next thing on my to-do list. At the moment, my sole focus is cutting nicotine. Cause listen, that's that's one of the toughest ones to give up. <laughs> Gotta get a blue dew for Alex, a rock star for me, and nothing for Jesse. I wasn't complaining, but I was talking about how slow the shop was. It was our slow season. Now the poor guys are loaded to the hilt with jobs, which has kind of put a damper on some of the videos that I wanted to make, because I kind of needed the shop to be free and clear to do like some of the tutorials. So now I'm kind of stuck. I'm not stuck, but I really wanted to get those done. All right, I'm back at the shop. Let's watch some YouTube videos. That's a, a segment I can do. So I can start responding to comments uh, from the previous video in this video. So let's respond to the next one here. Is the SEO 2017 book worth a buy? This is from Longview Garage. It is, man. I think it's worth it mainly as like a refresher course. A lot of these tactics, my beard's tripping me out right now. A lot of SEO tactics I already know and I'm already familiar with. I've learned them over the past, whatever, six, six years. But it was a great refresher course for me. If website optimization is new to you, then heck yeah, it would be an awesome book to start with. It'll just give you the ground. It'll give you the uh, foundation you need to start building your skills in SEO. And SEO, bro, it's, it's really simple. It's just not a complicated concept. Implementing it consistently is the hard part. And there's a comment from Veranthros who, I know who this is. I guess that's just my mentality on it. If you're not providing a product or service, you should not make money. Making, you know what I mean? Wall Street. Uh, real estate investment, anything where you're just buying something and bouncing things and then raising the price. It's, to me, that's just, it's not good business. It's not cool business, but I guess it is savvy business. Some of this shit, like the responses are so long winded, you just can't go into them. You have to, it's got to be more like a back and forth conversation on each topic. So it's hard to respond like, in one fell swoop for me. Just like in the comments, I can't write a comment block that big. I don't, I don't got the uh, attention span for it. This is gonna be a, a, a continuing series. Kinda has nothing to do with business, but I guess it does because when my personal life does better or I feel better with my personal life, I also feel better in my business life. I, you know, I'm a t-shirt printer, so I have thousands of t-shirts. I went through and just got rid of as many of them as I could handle getting rid of. Like, so it was a garbage bag, this big, you know, like one of those 30 gallon garbage bags filled to the brim with clothes, got rid of that. One of the things I wasn't able to do for some reason was get rid of old kicks and jackets. I have a fuckload of jackets. Oof, I can't throw away coats. There's just no goddamn way. One sec though. All right. I brought out all the coats that I got. This one, hiking, this is a down backpacking shell. Work coat, from sweatshirt one, sweatshirt two, windbreaker, this motorcycle jacket, uh, sweatshirt, pedal jacket, and there's this coat that I actually wear all the time, which is just like a bomber trench coat, shearling, lambskin, whatever. So here we go. That's like a king size blanket of jackets. Two of the things that I care about in fashion are backpacks and jackets. 
love them. Everything else I don't give a shit about. T-shirts, don't care. Jeans, don't care. Shoes, don't really care. I want to lighten my life load and get rid of the burden of a lot of the shit that I have right now. I think a lot of people would consider those a burden. I don't. But I will say this. If there was a fire, I would grab very little in this room. And that's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a survival pack or my, my fire. I'm going to call it a fire bag. Maybe it's a bug out bag. It's not going to be a survivalist bag. It will be a the bag with all of my most important things. All right, well, let's wrap this vlog up. Thank you for checking out The Print Life. Uh, punch that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.